It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood here at Richland High School. Thank you for viewing Ram TV. Today is Wednesday, September 10th. Tomorrow is Green Day. Here's what is happening today in Ram Nation. Wednesday, September 10th, 1 p.m. Golf Boys Varsity versus Forest Hills. 4 o'clock p.m. Soccer Girls Varsity at Forest Hills. 4 o'clock p.m. Tennis Girls Varsity versus Somerset. 4.30 p.m. Cross Country Boys Junior High at Somerset. 4.30 p.m. Cross Country Boys Varsity at Somerset. 4.30 p.m. Cross Country Girls Varsity at Somerset. Uh, 5.30 p.m. Elementary Volleyball Clinic, 5.30 p.m. Richland Rockets Practice, 5.45 p.m. Soccer Girls Varsity at Forest Hills, 6 o'clock p.m. Soccer Boys Junior Varsity versus Forest Hills, and 7.30 p.m. Soccer Boys Varsity versus Forest Hills. Lunch menu, bacon cheeseburger on a bun. Student dismissal times are as follows. Wednesday, September 10th, 2 o'clock Junior High and Varsity Cross Country, 2.30 JV and Varsity Girls Soccer. Dozen 14 Richland yearbooks will be distributed beginning tomorrow. Students in grades 8 through 12 that ordered a 2014 yearbook may pick them up in the student's store during their lunch periods. 2014 graduates may pick up their yearbooks in the Richland High School main office during school hours. An extremely limited number of copies extra will be available for sale for $72 in the main office or by seeing Mr. Hutzel in room E111. Checks payable to Richland Portal or cash would be accepted. Homecoming Relay Races. If you're interested in participating in the Homecoming Relay Races, forms are available in Mrs. Dorch's room B112. There will be one team selected from each grade 9 through 12 as well as a recognized club or organization. Teams must include 10 people and in the event that there are multiple entries for a category, the participating team will be selected randomly. Scholastic quizzes starting now. All competitions are on Monday evenings. If you're in ninth to 12th grade, available on Mondays, like trivia, like trivia and academic competition, join us. Sign up in Mrs. Meyer's room, C222. Practice times will be adjusted depending on other activities. It's fun, it's challenging. Be part of a team that doesn't sweat at practice. PSAT test. The PSAT test will be on October 15th. All juniors are required to take the PSAT test this year. Sophomores who are interested in taking the test can sign up in the guidance office until September 23rd. The cost of the test is $14. Fall wait room hours are Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays after school until 4.30. Please see Ms. Miller with questions. Advanced ticket sales, football, volleyball, and soccer. Ticket to, tickets to Friday's football game are on sale in the high school office until noon on Friday. Adults are $4 and students are $1. Advanced students only tickets this week's volleyball and soccer games are also available for $1. Season passes are also available in the high school office. Adults $20, students $10. 16 admissions are on each ticket. GSA will have a meeting on Wednesday, September 10th at 3 o'clock until 4 o'clock in Mrs. Meyer's room C222. Senior High Forensics. Any student in grades 9 through 12 are interested in joining Senior High Forensics team should sign up in the cafeteria with Mrs. Miller as soon as possible. If you enjoy being dramatic, making others laugh, or sharing your opinions on controversial matters, forensics might be perfect for you. Physics Math Club meeting were scheduled. Attention students interested in joining Physics Math, Physics Club and or Math Club. The first meeting scheduled for Wednesday, <coughs> September 10th has been canceled. It has been rescheduled for Tuesday, September 16th, directly after period nine in Mr. Tokarski's room, E110. Theater Tech Crew. Any student interested in joining the Backstage Badgers, aka the Theater Tech Crew, will meet in the art room on Thursday after school until 5.30. We are the people who build and paint the sets for all our school productions. Our first production will be You Can't Take It With You, or set to group go up at the end of October. Any students in 7th or 9th grade interested in middle school forensics, please sign up with Mr. Rancourt in the cafeteria. National Suicide Prevention Awareness Day. A big shout out from the RHS SAD for everyone who supported the National Suicide Prevention Awareness Day by wearing yellow. Suicide is one of those subjects that many of us feel uncomfortable discussing. If you're the one feeling suicidal, you may be afraid that you'll be judged or labeled crazy if you open up. Or maybe you're just convinced that no one could possibly understand. It's not much easier for concerned friends and family members who may hesitate to speak up for the fear that they're wrong or they'll say the wrong thing. The important thing is taking openly, talking openly about suicide, thoughts and feelings can save a life. College fair, permission slips to attend the college fair on Tuesday, September 16th are due in the guidance office by Monday, September 15th. 
Sad meeting. There will be a sad meeting on Friday during homeroom. Navy visit. A representative from the U.S. Navy will be in the cafeteria during period 5 lunch on Wednesday, September 10th for interested juniors and seniors. 7th and 8th grade Johns Hopkins talent search. Talent search applications are available in the guidance office for grades 7 and 8 students who scored advanced proficiency on their 2014 PSSA tests. Army visit. A member of the U.S. Army will be available in period 5 lunch on Thursday, September 11th for interested students. And now for the weather. Why did the school kids eat their homework? Because their teacher told them it was a piece of cake. But um, We have casual for a cause here at Richland High School. Many of you don't know what that is, but we collect a dollar from students and money from teachers to donate to a local charity. Tomorrow, we're having a Steelers Day. Pay a buck, wear your Steelers gear, wear a hat, and then on Friday, Friday, another dress down day. Uh, same thing, kids can wear their hats for a buck. Teachers will be dressed down as well. And uh, our key club's taking a leadership role in the community and putting those funds back into uh, organizations that need it. I got Bailey's check. Uh, Russell, Friday's a big game. We're looking forward to playing Westmont. Uh, you know, getting back home after a tough loss on the road up in Penn Cambria. So our guys are working hard at practice this week. and. Uh, Looking forward to a big game, so thanks for being here. Okay, you are. What happens when the students remove their profiles from their iPads? From their iPads, they, the, when, when their profiles are removed, the iPads then become unmanaged because all the student iPads throughout the district are managed by Meraki MDM. It's a mobile device management. And when that happens, we automatically get a, an alert that that, that profile has been removed from that iPad with the name of student and serial number. And there's a few things bad about that is because we can't uh, push apps to that device anymore because it's unmanaged and the student's iPad will automatically get kicked to guest network which gives uh, limitations of what they can do in school here. Alright, so, and is there anything else you want to add? Yeah, uh, when we're pushing apps to the students they're going to be prompted with a dialog box that is, that's coming from Cisco iOS Meraki okay. and all that the students have to do is click accept and type in their Apple ID and the app will be pushed to them and installed for them automatically. All right, All right thank you. Okay. Have, Have a great, a great day. day.